I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial, no hate can keep me down No matter what my haters say I proudly rep both of my races today I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial and no hate can Salam alaikum YouTube, what's cracking? It's your angry biracial back with another video Y'all know how I do, I gotta keep my foot on the necks of modern males 24-7. This video is gonna be intense for me. So much so I had to break out my dicker beads. To see that race soldier gun down that innocent woman after she rebuked him like the devil he is has me feeling some way that only prayer can help. A'udhu billahi min shaitan al rajim and to hear all these other devils trying to justify what their fellow race soldier did has my blood boiling. That being said, so grab your favorite drinks and popcorn and let's dive right in. That body cam video was released just three days after Sonia Massey was buried in Springfield. And while there were two sheriff's deputies present during the shooting, the one who fired at Massey did not turn on his body-worn camera until after the shooting, which means that for interaction between them and this mother of two, we only have one camera angle to analyze. We don't need a fire while we're here. It all went wrong in under 30 seconds, from the moment when Sonia Massey walked over to her kitchen stove until she lay dying on the floor, shot in the face by Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson. deadly shooting took place in Springfield on July 6th when two sheriff's deputies responded to a 911 call made by Massey herself who believed there was a prowler in the area. Body cam video shows the deputies searching the neighborhood before knocking on her door then waiting for several minutes until she opened up for them. Massey initially seems confused, unable to clearly express what she needed. Please God, please God. I'm trying to get help y'all, but we're getting help with Nothing. I just, please God, please God, please. I don't know what to do. In the aftermath of the shooting, Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson tells responding officers Massey came after him. But at least in the video from his own body-worn camera, that does not appear to be the case. You shot her? Yeah. She said she was going to rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came out with boiling water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. The shooting has led to protests and outrage in Massey's Springfield community. Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson was arrested and charged with, among other things, three counts of first-degree murder. The shooting led to strong rebukes from Governor J.B. Pritzker and today from President Biden himself, who said in a statement that Massey should be alive today. Sonia called the police because she was concerned about a potentially intruder when we call for help all of us as americans regardless of who we are or where we live should be able to do so without fearing for our lives massey's family along with attorney ben crump gathered in springfield just a short time ago reacting publicly to the video for the first time this man should have never had a badge he should have never had a gun he should have never been given the opportunity to kill my child Mm. Now, Grayson was fired by the Sangamon County Sheriff's Department and will remain in custody pending his trial. And, you know, we did reach out to his attorney to try and get a statement after that video was released, but we were told that at this time they don't have one. What a story that video does tell, at least at first blush. It, it does, certainly. Very disturbing video. Watch. Before I dive into this, let's look at another video that shows the full video from the body camera. You notice how she was already scared from the jump and that race soldier cop picked up on it. He said, we're not here to hurt you. You called us. But a black woman's intuition is unbeatable. She knew she was dealing with a demon from the jump. 
She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. She said that because she knew that he was trying to insinuate something about her. Because she knew that devil came there to delete her that night. And he was just looking for a reason. So he started making a big deal about boiling water on the stove. That's why she said, I rebuke you. And Sonia Massey was powerful. You got to be strong in your heart and in your faith to rebuke a demon and force it to reveal itself. You all are about to see how quickly that demon came forward, how quickly that demon deleted her because it couldn't handle being rebuked by someone as innocent, by someone as powerful as Sonia Massey. Oh, wait, you your hot steam and water. Did you all see that? Within seconds, he said, you better not, referring to her rebuking him, to her trying to exercise the demon that is him. All she was doing was trying to move the pot so there wouldn't be an issue. Then she dropped to the floor, afraid for her life. And what did that demon do? He walked forward and leaned his weapon over to unalive her right in her head. That doesn't sound like the actions of someone who was afraid of getting hit with boiling water. If I'm being threatened with boiling water, I'm stepping back. I'm not going forward. He came there to delete her and made sure he got her right in the head. But there's more. My kid. This was not a man who came there to help her. This was a demon with murder on his mind. And he thought so little of Sandra Massey that he said he's not even going to waste his med kit on her. And did you see that other cop's face when he asked him if she had a gun? And he said, no, she had boiling water. That cop couldn't believe what he was hearing. But that thin blue line nonsense is so strong that they have each other's backs even when they watched him murder an innocent black woman. A woman that was a fraction of his size. This is exactly why this election is so important. Because people on the right, Trump supporters, are going out of their way to justify the murder of Sandra Massey. They have shit like this all over X and bigots like Elon Musk doesn't care. I can't even show the comments. They are so bad, so openly racist. <sighs> this is what's at stake. An innocent black woman gets murdered by a fucking demon. And this is the response from the MAGA crowd. And then you got black men like this next that is extremely happy to be on the Trump MAGA plantation that he says crap like this. This is why I think that this, this is more justified than not. We don't know what's in that pot. Do you? Do we? Maybe now we do. 
But at the time, this woman is crazy and she's now manipulating this pot. How do we know she don't have acid in this pot or something even more dangerous? Okay. Pot! 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 Now, officers' tactics is terrible right here. I'm not trying to judge them too harshly because, you know. If anyone knows anything about Officer Tatum, he's a buck-dancing buffoon. Malcolm X said it best when he said there were two types of slaves, the house Negro and the field Negro. Pay attention to this election. Pay attention when stuff like this happens because buck dancing house Negroes will always reveal themselves. Tatum is a big time MAGA supporter. While y'all are fighting over what Kamala will or will not do for the black community and saying you won't vote for her, because she said she's not going to pass any laws specifically for black people alone. Yet this is your other option. The MAGA crowd who put out shit like this, mocking an innocent black woman who was murdered by a race soldier who also supports Trump. I would vote for a biracial woman who I know ain't going to do shit for black people any day of the week over a candidate who surrounds himself with people who want to lynch us. And I say us because I know where my biracial ass stands when it comes to white supremacy. I'm not even half white. I'm two types of N-words. I'm half black and half Arab. They call Arabs sand N-words. And if you need any further proof of how vile, how racist, how nasty the MAGA side is, Go on to X, type in Sonia Massey, and see all those MAGA supporters putting up stuff like this. Read the comments. It almost feels like we've been teleported to the Jim Crow era. The choice for me is clear. Sonia Massey was murdered. The black community, the biracial community, the people of color community. This could have been us. This could have been my wife. My sisters, my daughters, your mother, this could have been you if you can't find a reason to come together to stop shit like this, to stop the side that celebrates killing our people, then you're already too far gone to be of any use to anybody. You might as well go back to the big house and keep buck dancing. Before I close, I want to show you how much leniency they give non-black people. That video goes on for three minutes and then he runs away. Three minutes of him charging forward with a knife, of him begging those police to delete him, of him threatening them with a knife. And they have all the patience, all the leniency in the world. And I'm not making light of the situation. He's clearly a troubled young man that needed help. But so was Sandra Massey. She was a troubled woman who needed help. Help, who called the police for help. And instead of being shown leniency and mercy, they murdered her and tried to justify it with hot water. I'm going to close with this. To all you racists, I rebuke you in the name of Allah. To all you vile demons taking pleasure in mocking a woman who was murdered, 
I rebuke you in the name of the law. To Officer Tatum, I rebuke you in the name of the law. To all you MAGA supporters, I rebuke you in the name of the law. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Let's hold a moment of silence for our beloved sister. I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. All those things help a small growing channel like mine grow faster. And as a content creator, I really love interacting with y'all and reading your comments. So if anything I said in this video, or if any of the clips I showed triggered you or made you feel some type of way, let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Last but not least, my new book, The Burden of Blood, A Generational Curse, is out. Go on to Amazon or Audible and get your copy today. I promise you won't be disappointed. All that being said, know your angry biracial loves you. I appreciate you. And most of all, be safe. It's angry.